Uh, hi everyone. Um, for people who don't know me, I am Bala Subramanian Kandaswamy, and I work as a senior software development manager in MySQL Release Engineering team. And uh, the talk for today is No SQL plus SQL is equal to MySQL. Safe up a statement. Right. MySQL powers the web. So you could see that we have got uh, uh, you know, customers across uh, GitHub, Uber, Twitter, Facebook, they all use MySQL. So these are uh, only the few customers. So when we say uh, no SQL plus SQL is equal to MySQL, the first question that comes to our mind is how is that possible? So it is by the document store that we have got, we could able to get the no SQL you know, uh, feature included in MySQL. So for instance, as a user or a developer, you know, I can um, perform both the SQL operation and the JSON collection operation together. So this eliminates the need of a separate document, um, you know, the NoSQL or document store database. And uh, the best part about that is, uh, you know, how we implemented that is we've got something called as XDev API, which is built on top of the X protocol. And with that, we could able to perform both the CRUD and the SQL operations. And uh, we will come to the MySQL shell later. And you could see that the application, it could connect to the different connectors that we've got, namely connector uh, Node.js, connector Python, Java, and whatnot. We've got all the connectors. Right, to, to summarize, you know, when we say that it's NoSQL plus SQL, we've got the full JSON support for the MySQL 8.0. And with that, we could say that we've got uh, you know, we can perform both the operations on collections and uh, the relational tables. And the best part is both are available in the same technology stack. And next is on the shell, which is, which is kind of uh, the go-to tool for any uh, DevOps. Or the reason is, you know, I can even type in uh, anything with regards to JavaScript. I can even quickly switch modes. I can move to Python and even I can you know, start doing things in Python. And uh, trust me, just, you know, it's, it's one place wherein I can perform all the SQL operation. I can insert data, query data, and even I can perform all the administrative operations. And it has got uh, the built-in auto completion, which is what, you know, uh, is, is of interest to me at least. Uh, and the best part is I can even set up my InnoDB cluster in, in, uh, in approximately like two to three minutes. It's pretty simple to use. And as I said, it's, it's a go-to tool for DevOps. This is a snapshot that we have got. You could see that how easy it is to connect to an instance. And the second slide is like, you know, how we create a schema. So it's like, you know, I create a schema and use it. And this is what I've said, you know, how easy to, it is to switch from a JavaScript mode to Python mode. So I can say backslash py and I can even connect to the Python mode. And next is the auto-completion feature that we saw. And this is what uh, we have for InnoDB cluster, uh, which basically uh, the application can connect to the router, which is the light red process available in between the application server and the database. And MySQL cell, uh, shell is to manage all the instances. And it's a one product. It's got a full HCA solution, and it's pretty easy to use. And all these are the features uh, you know, that we've got, the namely GS support is one thing. And in case if you have... Uh, questions, you can go through the blogs, which is very handy. And we have got a MySQL user camp uh, happening in Bangalore, Kalani Magnum office. And even attend it. It's a quarterly event. And yes, MySQL 8 is everywhere. Uh, any questions, you can reach out to us in the booth. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Balasubramanian. Uh, the next talk is by Anirudh Anand on secure coding with Kurukshetra. 